Our winter festival celebrates Simru, the holiday of the winter solstice, the longest night of the year. Folks stay out under the stars all night, search This year's winter festival has been held in the town of Twilight Tor. Thanks to the munificence of Lord Never Ember, getting there is easy. Use any of the city gates. Select the icon for the winter festival in the hills due east of Neverwinter on the map. Remember, you can join us at the winter festival every day to enjoy activities, find new omens from the stars, and earn special rewards only available at this time of year. So come by our festival every day and may all of your stars be lucky ones. Sergeant Knox gave me this I hope you're enjoying our Festival of Simril this year. Is there any way I can help? The Winter Festival of Simril is here, promising long and starry nights. To help people stay up as they watch the heavens, we've created a number of exciting activities for you to do. Slalom down the mountain in the Twilight Run, go ice fishing on Lake Glorfinda, and defend our town. You can do all of these things at any time, and once a day, you can take this mission for extra rewards.
allegiance lies with Neverwinter. I hope you're enjoying this year the people of Twilight Tor have prepared gifts in honor of you and your fellow adventurers many deeds in service of the Sword Coast. I'm made to understand that the more gifts you open, the more unique and valuable prizes you might find in your next gift. But don't take my word for it. Speak with the Starlight Giftmaster yourself. She'll be more apt to answer any questions regarding the finer points of this gift-giving enterprise. And of Sinril brings gifts for all this year. Greetings, my eager adventurer. As you have no doubt heard, we of Twilight Tor have taken it upon ourselves to amass a staggering stockpile of gifts that we might give out daily to adventurers coming to revel in the festivities. Now, here's the important detail. The more parcels you open, the more exciting rewards you might find! What you will get shall have to remain a mystery, but what you may get, I'll be glad to tell you. Speak with me again if you wish to know the details. In the meantime, here's a voucher, what'll get you your first free gift. Enjoy the festival! I give them to you! Or rather, I can provide you with a voucher once a day, every day of the Winter Festival. You can redeem your voucher in the Zen Market for a free st Certainly! In wake of last year's festival, which was by all accounts our most successful yet, thanks to adventurers such as yourself, the villagers decided to plan something momentous in honor of your tireless service to the Salt Coast. By I'm glad you asked, friend! Our light crafters have been hard at work crafting these magic lanterns in preparation for this year's festivities. You'll find a set inside each starlight parcel. Oh, you can receive all sorts of rewards. And as you open more, the pool of possibilities will grow larger with each gift you open. Every parcel contains a gift of Simril to share with your friends. Look at 
all the special goods. Watch your footing! The monsters attacking us are demons from the Underdark. When the creatures mass for a major raid, we'll call it out. As you've noticed, you'll be fighting on an icy lake, so it may be very different from any battles you fought before. Here's some...
sure ain't slime out there. Since this is your first time here, you should take some time to learn about the Festival of Simro, our village, and what activities there are for you to do here. First, you can explore the village to learn about the holiday of Simro and our town's history. Then, discover all there is to do and meet with our event masters. Whether it's racing down the mountain, battling hordes of monsters, or just a quiet day's fishing, you should learn where everything is. During Simril, the heavens become entwined with the fate of mortals as the solstice draws near. And it is said one can see omens of the future by watching the stars. So, every night of the festival, we make our grand telescope available to all, so each can try to see what the future holds. Won't you give it a try? I can answer just about any question you have. The Winter Festival celebrates Simril, the festival of the winter solstice, and the longest night of the year. But Simril is no grim observance of darkness. It is a festival about surviving the winter. So instead of fearing the longest and cold... With all the people who've come to our town, we've added some fun activities and events to our festival this year. We've set up a slalom course, which runs down the mountain and around the... Each of the festival's special events offers unique rewards. Any lights of... Need a new fishing pole? adventurer. So, the mayor told you about our monster problem? Beyond these gates, a small army is amassing. The bravest adventurers occasionally foray out there to thin their numbers. We're managing to keep them at bay, but we'll need help when they mass for a real attack. Join us when the contest starts, and you'll get points for every monster you kill. A word of caution. Fighting on an icy lake changes things. I'd suggest you get used to it before the next big attack.
The Twilight Run is a slalom down Twilight Tor Mountain and around Lake Glorfindar, ending just below the village. To reach the course, enter the tunnel right behind me. You can run the course on a mount, or even on foot if you're daring. You can play the slalom at any time for fun, but during the Twilight Run event, you'll get points each time you run the course for making it through slalom gates and making it to rally gates in time. There are also bonuses that will appear on the track during the event. They can be worth many points if you reach them first, but it can be tricky to maneuver on the ice. I can answer all your questions about the Twilight... The Twilight Run is a slalom down Twilight Tor Mountain and around... While many like to run the slalom on their favorite mount, a mount is not... During each run, you score points in one of three ways. First, you can score points by reaching one of the rally gates in time. You have only 30 seconds to get from one gate. During the Twilight Run contest, all the points you earn in each race are added together to make your total score. Welcome to Lake Glorfindar, which means Lake of Fair Fortune in the common tongue. Our lake is fortunate indeed, for even in the depths of winter, it still teems with all manner of fish from the common brown bream trout to the rare candlefish. This makes Lake Glorfindar perfect for ice fishing. We've already cut holes in the ice, so all you'll need to get started is a fishing pole. You can get one from the fishing merchant here or back in the village. Later, after you've hired one of our Master of Light craftsmen, you'll be able to make sturdier fishing poles to help land bigger fish. There are fishing contests to join as well. Who knows? You may win the grand prize! That's a good night for fishing, don't you think? See if this new pole is Fortune said today would be a good day for fishing.
I should use better bait next time. This new pole will give me some luck. Good day for fishing. Five feet long, and I almost landed. Our lake here is teeming with fish, despite the thick layer of ice. You should give it a try. Go and get a fishing pole from the fishing merchant next to me, and then head down to the ready-cut holes. I want you to get the most common fish in the lake, the brown bream. We'll gladly trade you what you catch for lights of Simmeral. Once you have those fish, go and trade them at the correct bin on the dock here. Oh, and uh, keep an eye out for various bag items that you can haul up. There are plenty of careless anglers out there. It's easy to lose a bag of goods into the lake. I've seen an entire day's haul of fallen lights of Simmeral recovered by a lucky fisherman. 
Their loss could be your gain. The stars hold many The stars can reveal much about a person's fate, and during Simbril, the fortunes I prepare have a chance to be far more than mere prognostications. Your fortune is now ready. Open it, and find out what fate may have in store for you. I've never seen a telescope like that. I hope you're in I hope you've enjoyed the festivities tonight. Feel free to continue the celebration and win more rewards. You can also return tomorrow for another night of revelry under the starry sky. I hope you've had some fun exploring our town and learned a bit about what you can do with the festival. Refugees from the Underdog have been arriving thick and fast in recent weeks. Naturally, given the spirit of the festival, we've done everything we can to accommodate them. Thankfully, many are merchants and artisans. In my experience, the quickest to lay down old prejudices. In fact, a blacksmith named Darren, a door guard, if you'll believe it, is looking for some help with a venture for the festival. If you can spare a moment during the celebration, You'll find him at the Dwarven Ruins, on top of the hill, over there. You're certain. 
certainly no refugee. Are you here on behalf of the mayor to help with me little venture? These revelers go on and on about slalom this, slalom that, but can't be arsed to build a proper sled. I escaped with enough gold to buy myself this puny dwarven forge and build this here demon sled. Beauty, ain't she? Almost done with her, too. Just need a wee bit of black lead to finish her runners. That's where you come in. Black lead's common in the Underdark. If you happen to make your way down there, or you run into demons outside town carrying the stuff, bring it back here. When she's finished, she's yours. Just promise you'll race her down that track and show up those fool dwarves. When the demons started to emerge in the Underdark, most felt that we'd be just fine. It takes a certain kind of person to thrive down there, so we took the... In our haste to leave Mantol Dareth, many took whatever passage they could find. We didn't question where we were going. I can't say the rivalry between the Dwarf and Duragar ain't a part of it. But there's also not... That's right! It's a soft metal, pointless for making weapons, mind you. But you can make some slippery steel with the stuff. Just what a sled needs. You'll find it all over the under...
right 